Hey everybody and welcome back for another video where in today's video I would actually love to be working on this chicken brooder but that is not in the cards today. Today I need to revisit a previous video where I put together a swing set frame for the kids but due to a leg injury and ongoing tendonitis in my arm I wasn't able to actually dig the holes for the legs and the posts to go into and get them cemented in. So I need to start working on that part of things now. My leg is mostly uh, recovered. My arm, not so much, but uh, I think I can push through part of it anyways. But my biggest hurdle now is the heat. All right, we're into, you know, the goings of summer. We're up to 22 degrees Celsius today and uh, the sun is shining. But it's an opportunity that I have now to get outside between work and the kids are over to a birthday party and anyways time is all coming together to pretty much make it so that I have to make an attempt at this today. Uh, I would love to have a backhoe, maybe that'll be in the future plans, a little excavator type of deal, but as for now, unfortunately all my work in this dense clay, rocky soil that we have here in Newfoundland has to be done by hand. Uh, until a later time so anyways that's what I'm going to get into today I'll take you guys outside and I'll just start uh, by moving the frame around find a good spot for it uh, you know figure out on the ground exactly where I need my holes to go and then I'll start digging so I don't know how much I'm going to get done today my goals are not very lofty with this at all because like I say a couple of minutes out in that heat and sun right now and I am scorched so I'm going to keep things realistic not going to kill myself at this, but uh, I will get done what I can, and uh, like I said, we'll see how it goes. This could be a multi-day video in order to get this done, but uh, as for now, just got to, just like eating an elephant, right? One bite at a time. Let's go.
All right, so at this point in time, I'm about halfway there as far as digging the holes go, and it's brutal. I'll, I'll just be honest, it's brutal. The heat is killing me, I'm sweating. Uh, it's dripping off me as I'm digging. But, halfway there, and uh, I did those first two holes with the other posts in the right position. And for that reason, I'm thinking that I could test fit the two that I have done, put them down into holes, and still be able to flex the frame enough to dig the next two. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first two posts down in the holes, see how that worked out. I got down about 16 inches in each hole before hitting uh, packed gravel. So uh, anyways, that's what I'm going to go do, put the first two legs down in the holes, let's see how it goes. Alright, so as you can see here, both the posts went down nicely, and uh, anyways, no complaints there. So, I'm going to leave them down there, see if I can flex the other side out of the way, and uh, get to digging two more holes. Man, oh man. All right, that's three out of four done. I am roasted. Trying to stay hydrated. Got my purity syrup and water here, so liquid sugar and water. Hopefully that's uh, doing the trick for me. But uh, this is crazy. Crazy heat, crazy sun. There's not a cloud. Barely a cloud, anyway. Some on the horizon, that's about it. But, um, you know. It's a beautiful day, so I can't complain, but it's not good for work. Getting a few black flies coming. They're after taking a few pieces out of me. But um, all in all, like I say, to be three out of four done, I can definitely push through another. And if we're done in time, I'll go to Home Depot and I'll get some concrete and I'll set these down with a, a bag each on each of them. All right, so I'm gonna continue hydrating and keep the try to keep a bit of moisture in my body but uh, as for now i think this sweat is like magnifying glasses for the sun because it's killing me i'd say either bit of sunscreen i put on is uh sweat off by now anyways back to the last hole let's get this one done and uh, see if the swing set settles down properly
All right, so there's four holes dug. Let's see if I can get the last two posts to go down in the holes. If that settles in properly, then uh, next step will be concrete. But I don't have the concrete here with me. I'll have to go buy that if I got time. But uh, what I'm finding crazy among all of this is that I have neighbors that are pretty much retirees or their kids are so grown up they don't need to take advantage of the kids being away at a birthday party like I do right now. And uh, they can choose any moment of any day to come out and maintain their grass. And they're out in this heat, whippersnipping, you know, lawn, line trimming, mowing, all this, and they don't have to. It blows my mind. Like I'm out here because I got to take advantage of the time. But these people got a choice. Getting eaten by the black flies, burned by the sun, and uh, dehydrated by work. So either they're crazy or I'm weak. And I won't elaborate any further than that. But uh, let's see if this post will go down in the holes. Wish me luck. Success. All right, time to go get some concrete, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'll go do that, I guess, while I got the time. Whether or not I'll get to mix it and pour it today is yet to be seen. But uh, as far as getting to this stage, feels good. And um, you know, whether I bring it back tomorrow or whatever, I'll. Uh, it flies. I'll uh, take you guys along for the rest of getting it set in and backfilled and um, you know maybe I'll do the swing attachments and everything as well but that could be another video we'll find out but as for right now I need to go get some concrete and I'll see where my heart is after that all right I'll see you in a couple of seconds all right welcome back it's actually day two now I uh, I went to Home Depot yesterday started getting concrete and stuff but uh, they needed to take a new skid of it down off the upper shelves and anyways by that length of time the kids were ready to be picked up from the birthday party they were at and um, I ran out of time so by the time I picked them up got back to Home Depot it was like 10 after 6 and they closed at 6 o'clock so anyways I never got things yesterday but today is a new day I got the concrete and I actually got another sheet of plywood as well for the uh, the chicken brooder behind me. And we'll get back to work on that probably uh, in the next video or two. But for now we'll just concentrate on the swing set. I'm, I'm going to try and get that completed uh, in this video. So that's the, that's the goal. But uh, I tell you what, <laughs> bags of 66 pounds of concrete or 30 kilos it's, uh, it's hard to handle. All right, a lot of people, if you see them, just toss them around like it's nothing. You better respect them, or else uh, I'm just a weakling. Whatever it is, I'll uh, I'll take it. I'll accept my limitations and my need to uh, improve. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, unload the truck, and get that out. I'm probably gonna leave the concrete in the back of the truck and take it out as I'm using it. Uh, and I'm looking to do about two bags per post on the swing set and hopefully that should be the right amount in each. It's a little bit of wind outside is why I'm in the garage right now letting you know what's up and uh, again the heat is back, the sun is back, it's scorching outside so I am pretty much working in slow motion here today. I'm crawling and I'm still sweating so like you know I don't tolerate temperatures well. Again probably back to the weakling thing but you know, I gotta work with what I'm given and what I got, so it is what it is. As long as the job gets done, that's all I care about at this point. All right, so unload the plywood, and then I'll get the garden cart out, and we'll take two bags at a time, 
take those up to the swing set, start mixing it, start getting it into the, into the holes, and that's the routine that I'm going to get into. So uh, come along, there's probably going to be a music montage here now, depending on how the wind goes, and uh, we'll get this knocked out. All right, let's go.
there you have it. That's the concrete done. Big job done and in the books. Like I say, it took a couple of days. I don't really know if I would have wanted to do the concrete on top of the digging yesterday. But uh, at least by Home Depot being closed, that uh, decision was taken from my hands. And I managed to have last night to rest up and be ready for today. So at least this much is done. Uh, I don't know if any of you are wondering about some of the holes. They looked a little soupy. You know, I may have went overboard on the water for a couple of them. But overall, that excess water is going to seep into the groundwater. Or into the ground, sorry. And, uh, and the concrete will set just fine. If anything, in this heat and this sun, that extra bit of water will kind of slow down the curing process a little and probably end up with a stronger concrete than if I had had less water into it. Because uh, concrete is not good if it dries too fast. You want it to cure and the whole chemical process to take place is not the actual drying which makes concrete be hard and, and sturdy. So. As long as all that takes place, we're golden, and uh, for the purpose of a swing set, whatever that concrete turns into is going to be just fine. Alright, so I've tied it up outside, I picked up all the concrete bags, and I got those put away. Next on the list is going to be the hardware for mounting the actual swings onto the swing set. Now I went with a 12 inch cross beam. Uh, any instructions I find online are usually with 8 and 10s as far as spacing the swings out. So I'll have to adapt some of that and I'll do a few little drawings uh, off camera and work out where exactly I want my um, mounting points to be. But uh, I will show you what I have as far as mounting points now for the swings. Alright, so what I have here is just an Amazon special. Alright, so we got some threaded bolts with some heavy duty hangers on the ends and let's see so basically if desired you can take out this little key ring and then this pin will pull out and you can take this hook off if needed but we'll be keeping all this together as a, a single piece and this will go up through our six inch cross member and then tie down on the top it has a nylon lock nut at the top and uh, the washers are included. All right, so we'll have one nut down on the bottom and then we'll feed that up through the hole that we make in the cross member and then screw the top on there. And the nice thing about this kit as well is that they actually provide a drill bit, the proper size drill bit. So that was nice. So making sure that I drill my holes straight down through and at the proper widths. Other than that, it's as simple as screw a hole, put in the thread of bolt, tighten it down, and you're good to go. All right, so that's what's going to happen next. And uh, as far as measurements go, I'll probably, I may get into that. But otherwise, you may just see me screwing the holes, putting on the lock, or the mounting hardware, and call it done.
All right, everybody, there you have it. The swing set is together, cemented and anchored into the ground, and the swings are mounted and have already gotten some action from the kiddos. So the only thing that's left to improve it there now is probably adding a middle swing or swing bar and the uh, two side swings. I need to get some newer ones with uh, some longer chains on it because those swings that we have there they are kind of old. The rope's getting a little bit dry rotted and uh, so it could definitely be improved as well as swings that are longer to get closer to the ground. But the kids have tried it out, they enjoyed it a lot and I'm sure they'll enjoy them a little bit more before bedtime comes this evening. So that's going to conclude the uh, Eastern Jungle Gym Swing Set assembly and installation. And uh, it was a bit of work, but oh boy, it seems to be paying off. So until next video, hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other. And peace out!